Hey there, West Michigan. Thanks for watching 13 plus. I'm meteorologist Michael Barron's. It was an active day of severe storms that rolled through West Michigan this afternoon, and they made their presence known with the wind damage they left behind. First, let's check out this storm damage. It came from our own Juliet Dragas in Cannon Township. You can see there where the wind took out a pretty healthy sized limb there coming down in the backyard, and that was just one of several places that saw wind damage this afternoon. Afternoon. Speaking of the storm's impacts, here's a picture that was sent in to us from Kathy. This was in Rothbury, just across the water from where the electric forest was going on. They had to shut things down for a time this afternoon as heavy storms rolled through, but thankfully they were paying attention to the forecast and everyone uh, uh, was taking their proper safety precautions. Areas that we saw additional storm damage, much like that first video, this was Ottawa County. Thanks to Sylvia for sending you this picture. You can see another pretty healthy good sized limb coming down there into the roadway. And then we had similar views here in Grand Rapids. Rashonda sent us this picture. You can see again, pretty thick limb coming down with some of those wind gusts this afternoon that were up above 60 miles per hour. If you have storm photos, we'd love to share them here at 13 on your side. You can send them to me on social media. Meteorologist Michael Barron's on Facebook and at Mike Barron's WX on Twitter and on Instagram. In total, storm reports across the map right now, not as numerous as the actual damage, and that's because we've seen just lots and lots of reports of trees and power lines down. Each of these one little icons here that would usually represent one event, they're representing countywide events this time from the National Weather Service. They said lots of areas of limbs and power lines down in places in Oceana County, Nuevo, Macosta, Montcalm, Ionia, and Calhoun. So they'll be, of course, scaling that damage uh, taking in the scope of things throughout the next 24 hours and of course working to restore power still several uh, without power at this hour. You can see the map here. There's a total of 523 outages on the consumers network as of about 1020 affecting almost 20,000 people. So certainly numbers of West Michigan Mich Michiganders are still in the dark as we head through tonight. Now, of course, uh, with storms in the forecast from time to time, you can always keep up to date with the changing weather here in West Michigan in real time by downloading a 13 on your side weather app. You'll be able to see current conditions and the upcoming forecast as well as radar. It's free to download and in the App Store and Google Play. You can also text the word weather to 616-559-1310. That will give you a link to the latest forecast. Now, speaking of that forecast before the storms came through, it was a toasty afternoon. We hit 85 in Grand Rapids, 86 in Muskegon and 87 in Holland. That 85 this afternoon, a bullseye with the forecast. Second one in a row and 12 days now in a row inside the three degree guarantee, including six of those as bullseyes. When it comes to tomorrow, we're expecting temperatures to continue their downward trend. That's why 13 weather ball is lit up in blue with cooler temperatures in view. Still blinking bright as rain remains in sight overnight tonight and into the day tomorrow. View of the 13 weather ball, of course, sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse of Allendale. As of about 1022, temperatures had fallen into the 60s for most of West Michigan. Note the dew points also in the 60s. It's still humid out there despite the dropping temperatures, the humidity. That's not going to go anywhere until early Tuesday when the humidity levels finally start to drop across the region. You can see dew points still in the 60s as we head through tomorrow and through most of Monday evening. They'll start to drop on Tuesday. Temperatures will start to rise on Tuesday and we'll be back in the 80s before the end of the week. Your day planner scattered showers and storms possible overnight temperature down to 63 tomorrow 71 your high showers and storms under cloudy skies as things stay cooler but still humid Tuesday humidity moves on out skies start to clear rain wraps up early and we see a high of 77 by the afternoon. Radar out there still showing activity on the east side of the state as well as some redevelopment here in West Michigan. Nothing tonight expected to be severe, just scattered showers, possibly a rumble of thunder in West Michigan. The severe weather has pushed on out. You can still see some ongoing at this hour down in southern Indiana in Kentucky. But for the most part, we just have to deal with the remainder of this low pressure system and the rain chances it's going to push through West Michigan. So let's go ahead and track that hour by hour. Here's what we're looking at through tonight. Scattered showers may be a 
rumble of thunder. We'll start to see an increase in coverage as we get toward tomorrow morning with showers becoming again widespread across West Michigan. Again, possibly some thunderstorm activity in here, but nothing severe. This will continue until Monday evening when things start to finally wind down a bit. We'll keep a few stray showers in early Tuesday morning, but then we start to clear the skies out by Tuesday afternoon and we're back to some pretty sunny skies by late Tuesday. <clears throat> excuse me, that will continue into Wednesday. It's going to be a much warmer week ahead after a cool start. In fact, we're going to be getting back close to the 90s by the time we head toward the end of this coming week. As certainly not tomorrow, though, humidity around temperatures in the upper 60s to low 70s on the lakeshore with those scattered showers and storms. We'll be in the low 70s for our northern zones of humid conditions around, as well as low 70s for Grand Rapids down through Kalamazoo. 13 on your side, 10 day outlook. Temperatures again rising back to the 80s by Wednesday will be up to 88 for Thursday. Another round of showers and storms comes through as we head toward the end of the week. That'll drop temperatures down to about 80 degrees by Saturday. Humidity is staying in force and the heat goes right back up just in time for the 4th of July holiday. The 13 on your side beach and boating forecast sponsored by AAC Credit Union. Now it's time for the 13 year side beach and boating forecast. We're looking at waves that will be up tomorrow with winds that are hanging around the 10 to 20 mile per hour mark at times on the lake shore. That'll produce waves as high as four to five feet with winds coming mostly from the north northwesterly directions. That'll make the north sides of piers especially dangerous tomorrow. But of course, with the rain and possible thunder in the forecast, it's not particularly a good beach day. Anyways, the water temperatures out there, they were still in the 60s as of Sunday, but with higher wave activity heading into the work week, would not expect uh, would not be surprised if we see a little bit of cooler water well up there before we start to warm things back up again as we head toward the end of the week. Holy crap! Look at the size of grapes. And finally tonight, check this out. While we had plenty of wind related damage here in West Michigan, we did not see the large hail that areas of northern Michigan did. This video was from I-75 near Grayling earlier today. Thanks to Ben for shooting it. You can hear there he said the hailstones were the size of grapes. Definitely not something fun to be out driving in. And of course, now that you're up to date with the latest forecast for us here in West Michigan and a recap of the severe storms that struck today, don't forget you can stay ahead of events like today by following the 13 on your side forecast. That's online at 13 on your side.com and of course on the 13 on your side news and weather apps. For now, though, thanks for watching 13 plus. I'm meteorologist Michael Barron's.